Today, I want to talk about one of my favorite subjects, which is accessory trends. And I think accessories can make or break an outfit. And there are lots of really fun accessories that are on trend right now. Sometimes I find myself repeating myself from previous years, but that's just how it goes with trends. There's some trends that have been sticking around and actually are bigger this year than ever. And then there are trends that are fairly new that are pretty big and will continue to grow as we move on. But I want to talk about these. There are several that I want to talk about today and they're so much fun. So I hope you enjoy this video and I would love to know which accessory trend is your favorite. And thank you so much for watching. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing and remember to love your neighbor and be kind. One of the biggest trends for spring 2024 is going to be arm candy. And I have talked about this trend before because cuffs and stacking bracelets have all been on trend for a little while now, but this year they're going to be very strong in the trend category and you are going to find a lot of options out there. And I love the big cuffs. You can wear them by themselves, one on each arm, or you can stack them depending on what you prefer. And you probably have some cuffs in your jewelry box that you could pull out that you've had from years ago because this is most of these trends are definitely repeated trends from 10 to 20 years ago and even further back but you can also stack thinner bracelets if you want to and just have a full stack on your arm I have a stack on today along with a hair tie that is a bow and I'll talk about bows here in a minute this is the season to do it because most of the time our arms are exposed in this weather and it's a great way to make your outfits look a little bit more interesting and if you don't like wearing a lot of jewelry, just put on a pair of cute little studs and then stack your bracelets and you will be really on trend for the season. So now I want to talk about the bow accessory trend because I talked about this in probably my two previous other videos from last year for accessory trends and this year they are huge. So you're going to find bows not only on clothing, but you're going to find them on lots of your accessories, whether you have hair accessories like I have, which I got these hair ties. I have one as a bracelet on because I just think they're so cute. And I got these from Anthropology. You can buy a pack of them. And actually bow stacking is very popular. So if you can put a few bow clips in your hair down the line that hold a ponytail or something, that is really popular right now. And I just love all of the bows I have been finding. You can even put a very large bow in your hair. I have done that. I actually did that last year and loved it. And I would continue to do that this year. And they are very girly. And a lot of people think that they're just for young teenage girls. And I don't think so. I think bows are very feminine and they look good on a lot of things. And I think that is a way to make your outfit just a little bit more cute and i always have loved bows so i have got a lot of jewelry and a lot of other things i actually have a necklace on that has a bow on it today as well and i just like them and so if you are a very girly girl then pick up something with bows on it this season if you have not yet. There are also socks that have bows on them and you're going to find handbags that are bow shaped or just have bows on them. There are just so many endless possibilities that you can find this season with bows and I think this is only going to continue. So now I want to talk about headbands because headbands have been a big trend for a while. Your embellished headbands that have the pearls on them or have the big knot in the middle. So a lot of us have been wearing them for a while but this season there's supposed to be another trend that is very big and that is just your plain jersey headbands and you just wear them kind of on the front of your head and uh, it was funny to me that I read that this is a trend because I usually wear that when I work out but these are supposedly a big trend that is coming that you just put on as an accessory with your outfits and you can find ones that are in solid colors or they can have cute prints on them but let me know if you have heard about this trend and if you would wear a jersey headband as a fashion accessory I think one of the defining fashion trends for the entire 2024 season in a lot of different categories is big and bold. So it's go big and bold or go home type thing. And so in hair accessories, you are seeing this. We're seeing a lot of really oversized hair accessories, like I talked about the oversized bows, but you're also going to find really big clips or, you know, go bold by putting in many 
hair accessories at one time. So you're doing many clips or many hair bands uh, and it just makes for a very interesting bold look. And you're also going to find bold cuffs that you can put around your ponytails that are a lot of fun because metals are a really big deal for 2024. And then you're going to see oversized scrunchies, which we have already seen and I've talked about before, but there are going to be a lot of really bold and fun options. So if you love being bold and a little bit more out there with some of your accessories, which I think is good, sometimes I love to do that, then this will be the year for you. So this is actually a new trend that I have seen for this season and it involves scarves, but you're wearing the scarf around your head and tied under your chin and i think this is a very very vintage look and i think the vintage and retro accessories and jewelry and things like that are going to be trending throughout the year and i think this is a very interesting look i personally would not do this but it does create a very pretty look around your face and you know one of the hair accessories that has been really big is a headscarf so if you don't want to wear it tied under the chin you can definitely turn it into a headband or tie it around your ponytail or put it around your neck and make it cute because scarves are actually still really big and it's your square silk scarves that are on trend but the new way to wear them was to tie them under the chin so another big and bold accessory that i have really gotten into this season are sunglasses and a lot of them are really big and bold and the biggest trend for 2024 are your masks and your shield sunglasses and i'm not really sure how i feel about these yet there's one pair from dior that i thought were really cute they're a pair of shield sunglasses that have pink arms on them and the front is uh, just interesting and it's not dark it seems like it might disappear a little more on your face but I thought they were really pretty and if someone actually creates these in a designer inspired version I would definitely try them because I think the shield sunglasses are very similar to aviators which I love aviators I just got a pair of some plastic aviators that are tortoise shell that are pretty big and I have loved wearing them I always love big bold sunglasses because they give me enough coverage but if you don't love the big and bold and don't want to go there and actually if you don't love the shield or the mask you could do a different shape Although people say aviators are out of style and other, other sunglasses are out of style, I think that you should choose what looks best on you. And I'm just giving you the trend in case you want to try it because it will be available for you. So if you have followed me for any length of time, you know that one new accessory that I have fallen in love with is a belt. I never wore belts before. It was just not something that um, we wore. I don't know and for some reason when I started my YouTube channel I fell in love with belts I think a belt is a great way to actually make you look a little bit more put together on some outfits and I think the reason why we didn't wear belts very often is because tucking in your shirts was not a big thing back when I worked in the fashion industry and so now a big thing is to front tuck or to tuck your shirts in and I think certain outfits just call for a cool belt and belts are a major trend this season and the ones that you're going to find that are new are your low slung belts and I remember these belts years and years ago and I didn't do that trend either um, because I didn't wear the right thing that called for that type of belt but there are styles out there now like your straight dresses that look great with a belt that is kind of low slung or even your lower slung jeans that are becoming a big trend you kind of need a belt that is going to be able to do that and I do think that they can create a very interesting look with your outfit you could take a very boring dress and add a belt to it and then and it becomes a very updated and modern look so definitely think about a belt a lot of people are like me and they don't like wearing them and sometimes the body shape will not be perfect for a belt and you kind of have to figure out how you can situate it like I do because I have a tendency to be maybe more short-waisted and long-legged than people my height and so I have to situate put my belts in certain places but naturally wherever those jeans land on your waist if you're putting a belt on them it's going to look good and it's going to add a really fun accessory that will help bring some of your outfits together so I am very excited about this next trend because one of my favorite colors is green. 
I love wearing green and in accessories, you are going to find a lot of green. And I personally think it's because of all the retro and vintage looks that are out there because there's a lot of green sneakers, but green is a really big color and it makes a very pretty accent. So you can find all kinds of handbags in green. And these greens are not just your Kelly greens, your very vibrant greens. A lot of these greens are pastels like your mint green or even your lime greens or even some neon greens and so you will have lots of choices and not only in handbags but also in shoes actually my mother-in-law has a pair of really cute green loafers that I thought were awesome and you are going to find ballet flats in green. We'll have sandals that are in green. And so I hope this brings it to your attention because this is something that I did not know was going to be a trend. And I think it's very interesting and I love it. So if you love green, this will be the season for you to add some really fun accessories. So another color that will continue on throughout the 2024 season is red in your accessories and your shoes. So if you don't like green, you could definitely do a bold red. And I think red over pink is going to be the choice. And I'm definitely not giving up pink. I love pink in my clothing and accessories and whatever I can find. But red is definitely going to dominate whether it's a cherry red or a vibrant true red. And there are some burgundy red still, which I think is a little bit much for me for the spring and summer. I want more vibrant colors or more pastels like your pinks. So I just wanted to mention this in case you love red because red is still going to go strong for probably the entire year of 2024. So a new handbag trend that I just noticed, and I did not mention this in my handbag trends video. And if you want to check that video out, I'll link it for you, but it's striped handbags. And I think these are really fun. And I know stripes, some people don't love stripes on clothing. So maybe a good way to add some stripes would be in your accessories, like your handbags. And I've seen a lot of the luxury designers creating some handbags with stripes on them, but you're also going to find them in other lower lines. You'll probably find them at Target and Walmart. And I love that I've seen them in all different materials. So you'll be able to find them in your canvas totes, and then you'll find them in your raffia and straw handbags which I think are fun for summertime and some in the spring of course especially your raffia which is a little bit easier than straw and then you'll also find them in leather so I found some woven leather bags that are just two-tone have two colors and they create a stripe pattern on them and so there are a lot of fun options out there and I think stripes can be very classic so if you did get a striped handbag I do think they have a classic feel to them so I think you could wear them for a very long time so I hope you will have some fun with your accessories for this spring and summer 2024 season because there are a lot of fun options and I would love to know which one was your favorite. So thank you so much for watching and if you love this video, please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing, especially if you have not yet and you watch my videos. So thanks for watching and I will talk to you next time.